Hey everybody, Jem Schofield of the C47 and another episode of Gearbox 2.0. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about Halo from Lasso Light, so let's get started. All right, boys and girls, it's another actual gear episode. And it's been a while, we've been doing a lot of live streams, which I love to do with the live chat, a lot of interaction, talking about the business side of things, talking about the production side of things, and I love that. But sometimes you gotta talk about gear and specific gear. And this one's been in the hopper for uh, quite a while, so I've been backlogged on these videos. And this is a product that I found out about I think about a year ago at Photo Plus in New York, and I was walking the floor, I wasn't working the show, I just happened to be in town doing something else, and I saw this, and I was intrigued, because I've been, as many of you have been, using reflectors like this and diffusion panels like this for a long time, and um, they're great. You know, you are getting a product that when you expand it. It's about um, three times the size of its collapsed size. And I love the fact that I can also add extra things like cables. I oftentimes will put SDI or HDMI cables into these bags. They pack flat. Um, they do take up quite a bit of room. And that's really the big difference here with Halo. It's just a different approach to lighting control in terms of your closed or your packable form factor. So once we actually expand it and we use it, it's not a lot different in terms of concept, but look at the size of this thing. And this means that when you've got a roller, you've got a backpack, there are a lot of options in terms of where you can put this inside of your bag. Inside of here, you basically have a frame and then you have a fabric. So this comes currently in uh, two versions. You have uh, both of them with a 32 inch frame and you can see here just how incredibly small that is. And inside of this bag also in a little Ziploc is a quarter 20 to quarter 20, and I'll show you why in a moment. And then you have the fabric itself, and that's really the difference between the two versions. One is a silver white, which you can see right here, and there you go. And then the other one is the one I'm using over here, which I'll talk to you about in a moment, which is a two-stop diffuser. Now, once you buy the frame with one of these fabrics or rags, then you can actually go ahead and purchase the other particular fabric separately for about $35 US. So if you buy it with the silver white and you want the two-stop diffuser, but you don't want two separate frames, you can do that. And, um, and then in terms of attaching this, it's basically expanding this frame out and putting it together. There's two parts to the handle and one side of it has a quarter 20 thread on it. And that's where that quarter 20 to quarter 20 comes in just in case you wanna have, instead of a female receptor, you can actually have a male receptor coming off of this for rigging. And then the actual um, fabric itself attaches using a very similar but a shrunken or nano version of what you see on their skylight system. And now you basically have the whole thing built and you can see how rigid it is. The disadvantage to the Halo system is it takes a little bit more time to set up the system. The advantage is it's very rigid and so it's gonna hold up better in outdoor applications and also when you're rigging it with a clamp and things like that. What I wanted to do is show a real world way that you could set this up in a small to no crew scenario. We'll take a look at this stand. I've got a P. 360 Pro up there, and then I've got a nano stand here. I've got a two-stage articulating arm. I'll put a link to that. I've got this little clamp right here from Manfrotto, and that's holding the handle for the actual halo frame with that two-stop uh, diffuser. Um, it's a one stand solution. It's realistic. We're not doing anything here that's unsafe or is um, you know janky, as some people would like to say. Um, I think that this can work well in this type of situation. Now let's just go ahead and pan back to me and go back on that tighter shot. We are shooting right now at, are we shooting at a 640 ISO? What, what 400? 320. 320. So we're at a 320 ISO. 
Um, and let's go in a little bit tighter on that shot. And then what I'm gonna have you do, Jess, if that's okay, is go over to this light and let's go ahead and strike that light. So just turn that off so you can see how much um, we're getting out of this. Now, of course, the P360 is a very um, small spotty fixture. So what we're doing here is we're pushing it through this two-stop diffuser and through the halo and we're getting a nice soft wrapped light. Okay, so now that we've talked about this setup and we can see what that looks like with the light off, let's go ahead and turn the light back on. And again, you can see what it's doing as it's coming through here. These concepts aren't new. There's nothing that's amazing about this except for the fact that you have this very, very small form factor when you're packing this up and you have a very rigid system when you actually build it out. And I am a huge fan of reflectors and diffusion when they have handles because then I can grip them very easily. In fact, right here, let's go to a much wider shot if that's okay. I have the silver white now built. Let's go ahead and take a look at that and let's just tilt down a little bit. I'm gonna bring another nano stand into the mix. And this one just has a mini grip head. Uh, again, I'm just looking to make sure you can see what I want you to see. And I've got a mini Mathalini clamp. And then again, with this handle right here, it's very easy to just go ahead and pop that into place. And I have a very, very easy way to rig this right here so you can see how that is. Now I'm gonna lift this up a little bit so we can actually get some fill going in and I can just grab some of this light here. And let's go back to um, our shot, our tight shot. So I'll just go ahead and place this. We'll figure out where this needs to be. Okay, good. And let's go ahead and, yeah, actually that's fine. Let's just hold that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this looks like with no fill. So again, I've gotta move that out so you can see. So there's no fill. And then I'm gonna bring that back in. And actually it's doing something right now. You can even see that. But if I needed to, I could walk that in just a little bit more. So it's still out of frame. And there you go. And now we're using these two things together. Might raise this up just a little bit, but you guys get the basic idea. So there you go. That's Halo from Lasso Light, and I'll see you guys next time on Gearbox.